Oh, well up, guys. Look at my hair. What a mess. I love this morning hair. Let's wash my hair. The key is not to wash it all the time. Otherwise, the natural oil in your hair is non-existent. So you need that over time. So like, you know, once or twice a week. A lot of people have different opinions, but look at this mess of hair. I might just leave it like this. It's quite a good style, to be honest. Look at that. And that t-shirt to match. Muhammad Ali, don't mess around. I just look at this t-shirt and inspiration, but not from this hair. I'll tell you what. This is the opposite of inspiration, this hair. It's accidental at the same time. Anyway, guys, I'll see you later on. to score but at the right end. How does he score in the upper end? Bloody hell. Yeah, what it was happens. he doing? Yeah, it happens, isn't it? He's the best sometimes, isn't it? Even the best players. Yeah. Anyway man, take care. Uh, Would you lift the back wheels up, Dad? Or we'll do it there. Thank you. Takes people a long way. Hey, you don't watch that, watch this. What up, guys? As you can tell, I'm back from football. From that last clip, I didn't get any filming done. It was just the first one back. I was late. I was an hour late, guys. Slept in too late. Burning the camera at both ends, guys. But no, seriously, yeah, it was just a big mix up. So we're an hour late. But train till five anyway. So three till five. Good training session for next week. We've got a cup game. So that'd be good. Um, but yeah, I spoke to a mate of mine who went to the Tottenham United game. He's a United fan and I sold him my ticket because I was meant to go to the Spurs United game. Or United, yeah, Spurs United, when we lost a few weeks back. I'm glad I didn't because we lost. Well, you can't say that, can you, as a fan? But for him it was good. It wasn't good for me. It was good for him because his team won. He got to see him. And he, he caught up with me today, gave me the money, so that was fine. I was like, don't worry too much. You know, as long as you enjoyed it, but come on. What are the odds? You, you get to go to one game and you win. It's not bad, not bad, not good for me, but yeah, so that was funny. Give my money, where's my money? Nah, um, yeah, he's a good lad. Hardcore United fan. Uh, to my annoyance, they won, yeah. And uh, as a mirror at the moment, Spurs are losing. Llorente scored no goal. I mean, we wanted him to score, but at the right end. It's just typical football, isn't it? So back home now, I'm going to eat something. Found out we've got a, a few family members coming over from Italy later in the week. It's little bro's birthday on uh, Friday. Is it your birthday on Friday, Mass? Yeah. There you go. It is his birthday on Friday. 25th of January. So, yeah, we've got some family coming over for that. Yay for him. It's like, it's supposed to be a surprise, but my uncle was on the phone to my dad on speaker, and then he just said, yeah, uh, we're coming over, but don't tell Mass. He was standing right there, having his breakfast, like, so he overheard everything, he's like, yeah, I know already. Surprise! <laughs> Not much of a surprise, really, is it? Alright, I'm going to catch up with you guys maybe later, maybe tomorrow. I don't know, it's like a mix-up of days into one vlog. See how it goes. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed my most recent podcast, though. Um, 
Okay, good. Uh, I might have to do them like more often or like do one or two and then upload them together instead of doing one each week and then uploading it. And I'm making music, guys. It's going well. First song was like 13 minutes long. I didn't intend for it to be that long, but it is. Might do shorter songs or pieces of music, whatever you call them. But yeah, DJ21 right here. But I don't know, that's a terrible name. I don't know. People don't put DJ in front. People going to put petrol in cars, okay. I'm staying there. See you in a bit. Well, good morning, fans. So, yeah, welcome to this new blog post for the WFA website, Wheelchair Football Association, if you don't already know. It's a new day, guys. It's Monday. So I've got this blog to write, a bit of work to do in my office, my room, whatever you call it. Working so hard, unbelievably hard. <laughs> no, I mean, when you're creative, it's like it doesn't feel like work. But yeah, this is a blog. It feels more like work. It's like writing an essay again, but it's all about me and my how I got into Pouchet Football, where it started <laughs> all those years ago. Some of those posts, you know, like now everyone's posting these pictures, like 10 years ago and now, post and... Post and pre, I don't know. No, post is after it, so pre and post 10 years. No, leave it on, leave it on. Otherwise, my fans won't be able to see me. That's true. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, almost lost the light in it, guys. Dad was trying to turn the switch off. I was like, no, no. Anyway, I'm writing this blog. It's all about how I started Pudget Football. It's just a before and after. Um, How many were Like 300 what? I think 300 words, something like that. About 300 words. We'll see. Anyway, I'm going to get into that and I'll see you later on. Time lapse. Delivery, have I? Return to MMSCC. What? Oh, I got delivery, yeah. What is that all about? Got delivery, guys. Oh, you plastic. That's good, guys. Yeah, anyway, guys. So, what's going on is I'm writing this blog, and yeah, it's like 300 word count, I think. But I'm just writing about like how I got into YouTube and stuff, and the whole like what I did at uni, like the radio show and all that. And I'm really seeing the connection right now. I've talked about it before on the podcast. I didn't really see it till now, like all the connections to all my passions, football or vlogging or whatever. But yeah, in this blog, I'm trying to keep it about football, but it's difficult not to end up writing about what I do every, every day with you guys because it's part of my life and I love it. Like I love football in the same way. But it's just amazing when you write it out, when you see... The story, like, you know, I, I read a lot of biographies, to be honest. Um, I read the Andrea Pirlo one last year. I'm reading the the one about The Rock at the moment, Dwayne Johnson. The Rock Says, it's called. Good book about his life and how he got to where he was, where he is, from where he was. Which is an amazing story, really motivational. So I'm reading mine, and I'm like, yeah, someone's going to read this and be taken back. I mean, everyone's got a story to tell. It's just how you tell it. And how close to the truth you make it you know Hollywood today how many stories about famous people they change just for Hollywood just for the for the dramatic effect you know how many things that actually happened historical events they change in people's lives just because they can so anyway yeah writing this is like really I don't know that opens your mind to you, what you've been what you've been through to get where you are like journalism and media, yeah. 
I could have been the journalist guy. They could have been writing for newspapers. I, went, I thought at one point I could be like a football pundit, but like, no, don't do that. Don't end up like Jamie Carragher and Gary Neville, just arguing all day. <laughs> no, I mean, my football knowledge is up there, but yeah, no, nah, I, I don't know about... I don't know, I still do do go in front of a camera, don't I? So one day, you know, the connection is there. There's YouTubers that talk about football day. Whether I could do that, I don't know. Because, you know, if I like football that much, as much as I do, and I'm playing football, do I want to talk about football day? Maybe not, but... Yeah. So I'm getting on with this now. I'm gonna, I've got a bit of music I made. It's 13 minutes long. So what I'm going to do... I think I'm going to make a video. Like, get old footage I've got. Like, time lapses and stuff, and like... The amount of times I went on, like on days out when I've gone down the road to the shops, to the park, or around central London. I'm going to get footage from those days, combine it into a video for this bit of music I've made, and see if it comes out alright. It might not, it might be total trash. We will see, guys. And you'll be the first to know. Well, you'll see it on the YouTube channel soon. But this week I've got family coming over, so I might not make a vlog till fly Friday. Friday. Fly day, what day of the week is that? The day when everyone's high, yeah. <laughs> no, fly day, okay. Friday, when it is my brother's 21st. Can't believe it, I remember when he was like four. And he had like blonde hair. And he was like chubby. Not anymore. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, times, time, time flies. Times change. But at the same time they don't, because like, I'm always mugging him off the whole time. Just never serious. I was talking about with my, one of my cousins the other day, like, I ha I'm incapable of not winding my brother up, or, you know, being serious, I can't. It's easier to just be funny all the time and just annoy people. Why not when you can? <laughs> At least I've got the choice. Some people don't, so, yeah. This is the most random vlog I've ever made. I'm trying to do more of this because, like, sometimes I just overdo it. I think you just need to talk to a camera, just easy. I don't know. It could be chatting gibberish, maybe you like more creative videos, maybe you like the podcasts, whatever. As long as you enjoy something on my channel, that's fine. You don't have to enjoy everything, it's all different. But yeah, here we are. Monday, Monday, Monday. Writing the blog. Yeah. All right. I'm going to do this, then I'm going to eat some lunch, make that music video at some point, or start that, and upload this at some point. This video is probably going to be very late, even after all the family's gone. I do not know. But yeah, we will see. I'll, I'll catch you up later, though. This, it's not the end of this vlog, guys. Don't speak too soon. See you in a bit. Guys, I never thought, well, I did think I'd be saying this. It's snowing. It's snowing in England once again. Well, sleet, it's not really snow, is it? Can you even see that? Like, well, you can see on that roof, there's a bit of white snow. And on the grass, woo! Oh, look, that's where we dumped our Christmas tree. I didn't even know that was there, guys. Oh, my. So, yeah, I kind of knew there would be snow. Because my brother's in Liverpool and he was like, it's snowing here. Because he he's up there for something to do with his work anyway, some course. And he was like, oh, there's snow everywhere. I'm like, alright, not here. But I guess the snow found its way here. Three and a half hours from here. But according to him, that's the time it took him to get there. But yeah, we've got family over today. They should be around shortly. Very soon. But yeah, snow on, on uh, their trip to England. Lovely. Uh, I did say it was cold. Um, yeah, they definitely got that. So we'll see when they get here. They're probably going to be loving the snow. But I wouldn't call it anything serious, really. It's not settling. But snow, guys. That's what I tell you guys. Because why not? Just can't not watch the snow. I'm just going to sit here and watch this. See you guys later on.